How's it guys? I'm Robert and this is Yebru. Welcome back to the channel and today we're talking conical fermenters. Okay guys, so today we're talking about our in-house stainless steel conical fermenter. We call it the Dionysus Pro Conical Fermenter. And if you purchase it on, on site without any additional extras, this is what you're going to get as it stands here on the table. I'm going to run you through all the extras that's available to purchase for the fermenter at purchase time or either at a later stage and also the way the fermenter works with those additional extras and how easy it is to actually pop them onto the fermenter. So for starters let's just run through the fermenter as, as a standard unit. We've got two units available online. We've got what we call the Pro and we, what we got a standard version. Now the only difference between the Pro and the standard is that the Pro comes with welded 2 inch triclover fittings on the body whereas the standard unit comes with welded threaded nipples and, and valves that you cannot take off the body. So the, the triclover fittings allows for better cleaning and as I've mentioned for attachment of additional extras and actually to modify this unit to your needs. So let's start at the bottom. As I mentioned all triclover fittings at the bottom of the cone as well as on the body is two inches so we've got three on the body and one at the bottom of the cone and on top of the fermenter we've got a six inch opening now that six inch is also clipped on by means of a tri triclover clamp and that allows for easy cleaning it's a big enough hole to get your arm into and really clean up the fermenter properly it also allows for an airtight seal unlike those lids that work with the clamps on the body so guys, at the bottom, it is a 2 inch triclover fitting as I mentioned, but it goes into a 1 inch dump valve. So our standard 1 inch dump valve is just a standard 1 inch 90 degree bend with a 1 inch ball valve attached to that. Going upwards, you've got a sampling valve on the body, just to take nice sam uh, sample readings, gravity readings at a nice slow flow rate so you don't spill a lot. And then on the side of the, of the body, we, we give you a thermo well. Now the thermo well is to allow for either a digital thermometer to go in there or your probe of any digital device. So you've got, a, you can run an STC 1000 on it if you have a heating element or a cooling coil in. So the probe of the STC 1000 will go into the thermo well to take those readings or a PID for that matter. I'll just remove this. So simply unscrew the clamp, open the clamp and the unit comes up. So we've got the thermal well like so and your probe will go inside there. If you don't want the uh, thermal well, well as a standard it comes with the thermal well but if you're not going to run any electronic device you will change that. We've got a lot of these tri triclover fittings available on store, two inch triclover fittings that either goes into a hose bar or a half inch nipple BSP thread or a half inch socket. So you can for instance add one of these fittings onto the body there and just screw in a dial thermometer if that's what, what, what you want. Uh, moving on to the other port, we just blank it off as a standard. So that's an additional port for any additional accessories that you would want which I'm going to run through in, in a second. On top you've got a standard 6 inch blank off plate which we will drill a hole to take up your standard airlock bubbler which is also upgradable which I will show you later in the video. It, it, it is manufactured from 1.2 millimeters 304 stainless steel and it's got a 60 degree cone which is best for those yeast collections and thrub dump. So let's move on to some of the extras. Starting at the bottom, a lot of you like a lot of dry hopping in your in your fermentations and therefore you would want to maybe upgrade your your dump valve so we've got a two inch dump valve which we sell on the on the website as a two inch 90 degree bend with a two inch butterfly valve 
So simply remove your one inch dumbbell. Like so. And you add on the two inch dumbbell. Like so. So there you've got a two inch dump which is not really going to get stuck with any thrive or hot matter, whatever you might have in your fermentation. What you can then also upgrade to, we've got what we call a two inch inline sight loss. Now this is usable in as two features. Firstly, at the bottom as a sight loss to see the, the clarity of your beer when you are dumping to be able to see when your beer is clear for transfer. So if you've already purchased this two inch dump, you'll remove your butterfly valve like so. You, you, you are able to then add in your side block at the bottom. And then add your, your, your butterfly valve on the front of the side glass. That would give you a nice view of the clarity of your beer. On the front of the dump valve, uh, uh, on the front of the butterfly valve, again you may, you'll make use of these two inch fittings with um, either a threaded socket or a nipple to then add your cam lock fitting like so to take up your transfer hose easily by means of a cam lock fitting. So that's it for the bottom then. Let's move up to, to your port with the thermal well. That would be in there. Like I've mentioned, you can then either add uh, a, a normal two inch fitting with a ball valve, for instance. Got a normal half inch ball valve there. You can then add that if you would need another port to, to transfer. We've got uh, a racking arm available, also sold as an, as an optional extra. Swap them around and put your sampling valve on top. Put your sampling valve there with your racking arm at the bottom. And on the front of that racking arm, just a ball valve to transfer to, to either your keg or then have additional attachments for your bottling equipment that you, that you may have. So guys, like I said, we've got a blank plate there, which is an optional port for, for additional extras. You can, you can either have an element installed in there. We sell 500 watt elements for those higher temperature fermentations. If you want to do a quake yeast or maybe a distillers yeast in the fermenter, the element is available. And therefore you would then run the element through a STC 1000 or a PID control, which will run through the thermal well, the probe will be inserted into the thermal well to take those temperature readings for you. So this element also simply clips in there, put the seal and it goes on there and it clamps on by means of the triclover clamp again. Like so. What you can also use that port for, we sell what we call a pot sight loss, it's also a two inch pot sight loss, that can just attach on there with the triclover clamp to give you a view of your fermentation, to see the yeast activity and whether or not the yeast has dropped out. A lot of people like to see inside of the tank, so this is a nice option. And then finally moving to the top of the fermenter, like I've mentioned, as standard it comes with a six inch blank off plate obviously with a hole for your for your bubbler but it that lid is upgradable to a six inch with a two inch opening so you can either use that two inch opening so you'll close it off with a blank plate once again like so and you can use it as a dry hopping port or you can start by buying extras for that two inch port as well 
which will include things like our tapping head. We've got what we call a two inch tapping head and that comes with ball lock fittings on top. It's a gas ball lock, liquid ball lock and a purge valve. So if you put that on top of your lid, you can start using this fermenter as with pressure fermentations and close transfers, etc. So once you've got that on there and you want to do a pressure fermentation, you'll buy what's called a spunding valve. And the spunding valve would attach onto you, your, your gas ball lock post there, like so. And you'll adjust it to 15 PSI and that will just get rid of the excess CO2 in the tank that's over and above the 15 PSI that you've set it at. On top of that, you can also then purchase a floating dip tube, which is this here, and that attaches to the center of this tapping head to allow you to do close transfers from the top level of the beer or just dispense directly out of your fermenter if you've got a way to chill it, of course, either in a fridge or, or, or you've got a chiller quill that we also sell. So that fits nicely through your two inch port and that will sit like that and float on top of the beer. Secondly, what you can do, if you've purchased, like I said, the inline side glass, this one here, you purchase that for the bottom. You can additionally use it on top as a dry hopper if you've got this lid. So that will, that will simply go with the two inch butterfly valve Attach that to your lid there, then your inline sight glass and your tapping head on top. What this will allow you to do is to close the butterfly valve, add some hops into your cylinder here, put your tapping head on, perch it with some CO2 and perch the oxygen out of this lid here, uh, out of the cylinder. So your dry hopper would look like that and after you've perched it, you can simply open the valve and the hops will drop into the beer without introducing any oxygen. Further to the lid, you, we've got an upgradable coil. So we've got a 7.5 meter chilling coil specifically designed for this fermenter. It fits through the hole on top of the fermenter. I'm just gonna show you guys quickly. Flip the fermenter to show you. Put the fermenter on the side like so. You can see the that's your six inch clamp, and that's a six inch opening. The coil is five inches, so that will fit through the hole there. And you are then able to run either chilled water, glycol, whatever systems available to you through the coil with a STC 1000 or a PID control through the thermal well to keep the fermenter, to bring the temperatures down for you in those summer months or if you want a cold crash in your fermenter, that's possible with that coil. Lastly on the fermenter, we've got what uh, a CIP, which stands for Clean In Place System, which is simply a cleaning ball that can go through your two inch port. Once again, it will attach onto the, that will, once you run caustic through a pump, that will spin and clean the fermenter inside for you. So no need for any hand scrubbing or washing or taking away of the fermenter to a, a, a tap nearby. So again, you add your, your cleaning ball onto that lid, the, the lid upgrade, and on top of the cleaning ball, you would want something like the two inch with a half inch nipple or either a socket to add on top. And then again, take your cam lock fitting to connect to your hose that will go to your recirculating pump. So simply, it will look like this. You'll have your lid on top, your, your cleaning place will go in there, and the hose will go to your pump uh, and the other, your pump's exit. And the, from your dump valve at the bottom here, you will recirculate your, the caustic that's inside of the tank through the pump, through the bowl, clean it, and just keep on recirculating for a couple of minutes and it should be clean. So that's it guys, that's what we've got available at the moment. We're super stoked about our fermenters, where, where we've got them so far. And if you've got a fermenter like this already and you would like to comment about it or just uh, show us some pictures, please comment below. Um, if you've got any upgrades you would like us to do to the fermenters, please comment. 
any, any we, we take up any suggestions and see how we can work through them and make the fermenter even better and if you would like some more information please ask us thanks for watching the video guys and if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe to our channel to see some more updates on what we busy with at Yebrew. We're going to try and show more videos of everything that's available in store and how you can upgrade them. And yeah, please like the video if you've liked watching it. Thanks for watching. Cheers. See you again.